Anatolo Noir and Bulya Baskovia are carpet weavers from the Nagoje community in the Mabira forest of Uganda. The women are part of Nakoba, the Nagoji Community Biodiversity Organization that works together with Uganda's National Forest Authority, the NFA. The women are granted permission to use the protected forest to collect firewood on certain days. In return, they raise awareness among their communities about the importance of forests and why they should replant and restore them. To supplement their income, they collect palm leaves from the forest and weave carpets that are later dyed with local products. We have also engaged the communities in collaborative forest management. So we work closely with the communities. They also help us protect this reserve, collaborative forest management, allowing them to remove firewood for their home use. It has proved better than fighting them. The forest that supplies these women with palm leaves also provides them with water, medicine, and wood for fuel. But the Mabira forest is at risk due to a growing population, which has led to increased encroachment on forest land for agriculture and higher demand for charcoal. This reflects the wider situation in Uganda, which has experienced severe deforestation over the last decade. In fact, in 1990, forest cover was estimated at 24% of the total land area. By 2015, forests covered only 12.4% of the total land area. Many of the remaining forests are in protected areas, under the protection of the NFA, National Forest Authority, and the UWA, Uganda Wildlife Authority. The biggest threat on private land is conversion of forests to other land uses, agriculture production. Charcoal production is also degrading, especially the woodlands. The urban centers in this country heavily rely on charcoal as a means of fuel. On the positive side, we are also seeing the private sector getting interested in afforestation and reforestation. That is investing in forest plantations. But the rate at which the forest plantations are coming up cannot replace the loss of the natural forest. So under the Red Plus strategy, there is a need to look at the drivers of this deforestation and forest degradation. To help restore natural forests like the Mabira, the government of Uganda launched its National Red Plus strategy in November 2017. The strategy includes plans and options for forest management to reduce carbon emissions and maintain valuable ecosystem services such as biodiversity, water supply and soil protection. In the country, Red Plus is also seen as a vehicle to support the livelihoods of local, rural and forest dependent communities and to ensure the conservation of its natural heritage. A key aspect of Red Plus is a strong national forest monitoring system called NFMS to monitor what is happening on the ground, inform decision making and track progress. Uganda has a long history of NFMS. With the support from various donors through Red Plus, the country has strengthened its NFMS and succeeded in integrating new remote sensing techniques into its work. Uganda is a, a fascinating place to work because we're not doing anything new here. We're just building upon what they have already developed. We, as a UN Red program, and FAO in particular, are producing the tools that make tracking forest change easier. So this is what FAO's role here in Uganda has primarily focused on shoring up the National Forest Monitoring System, making certain that they have the skills necessary, building upon the skills that are already in existence, and ensuring that they have the capacity to track forest and land use change. In order to monitor forest cover changes and measure the carbon stock in each of the forest sites, the NFA team combines satellite data with on-the-ground measurements done by forest inventory teams. 
they measure the height and diameters of the trees and record their species and density. Tree stumps are also counted and measured when encountered to better understand loss of carbon stock due to forest degradation. So when Brenda goes to the forest, he will use tools. He will get a tree and measure the diameter. We call it diameter at breast height. So Brenda is going to measure the diameter of the tree. He's going to measure the height of the tree. And then she will use a certain formula to calculate the volume of that tree. Then when you calculate the volume of the tree, we know there are some ratios that we have minerals, we have these substances, and a certain portion, which is about half of the tree, is carbon. So if she measures and she finds this tree is one ton of biomass, she will know this tree has 500 kilograms of carbon. Along with the open forest suite of tools designed to facilitate data collection and analysis, Uganda uses CPAL system for earth observations, data access, processing and analysis for land monitoring. It is a cloud-based platform that helps countries with geospatial analysis of forest and other land uses. These tools allow for the quick processing of data, enabling Uganda to more rapidly understand the extent of forest cover change and related carbon emissions and provide up-to-date information for decision-making and to monitor the success of interventions to reduce deforestation and forest degradation. The different colors. The work here is part of a broader donor commitment to Red Plus readiness and implementation by a number of donors in the country. The UN Red Program's interagency model offers countries access to a range of high-level technical expertise on Red Plus. That's how Uganda had access to an FAO MRV expert to help them map and measure their forests in order to fight deforestation. FAO was able to generate other resources and give us an MRV expert who was able now to help us interpret the, the forest reference emission level requirements. It would have been difficult for us to move at the speed that we moved. Tailored Red Plus actions also support Uganda in managing its forests for the benefit of its communities. Through strengthening Uganda's National Forests Monitoring System, the country now has the data and capacity to monitor forest change in real time, both in terms of loss, degradation and deforestation, and gain, interventions such as forest restoration, agroforestry, charcoal woodlots, etc. In other words, the National Forest Monitoring System supports decision-making and provides data to track progress on interventions. 